unless and until you are prepared to look at the whole truth and wherever it may go, whoever it may lead to, if you want to look the other way or if you want to play favorites, then somewhere along the line you're going to find out you're messing with divine justice. The more you educate yourself, the more you understand where things come from, the more obvious things become and you begin to see lies everywhere. You have to know the truth and seek the truth and the truth will set you free. Poison is 98% edible substance and just 2% poison. Just a small amount of poison is needed for the rats to eat the food and die. The concept of mixing good with evil or lies with truth and elaborating on that lie in a repetitive manner is the best way of getting a lie to be accepted. After all, it was Adolf Hitler who said, if you tell a lie long enough, loud enough, and often enough, the people will believe it. This has been the method used by the Zygist movie, only it used more than just 2% poison, which will now be exposed. The mission of the Zygist movie is to deceive people into thinking that the Bible is just an imitation of previous mythical and astrological beliefs. This was attempted by claiming to portray parallels between the Bible and past mythologies. Much of what the movie considered as parallels, many of which were falsely created, were pointed out while ignoring the immense and actual differences in the continuation of each story. So basically, the Zygist movie tries to gather all past mythologies and tries to find some common relations. But in failing to do this in a convincing manner, they had to come up with a bunch of lies, which will now be exposed. The first parallel was to the sun, being related to God's sun. Now, just because they sound the same in English certainly does not justify a relation. The following are the Greek translations of the two words, and they are clearly two different words. Another false parallel which was repeated for the support of many other points in the Zygist movie was that Jesus was born on the 25th of December. This claim cannot be found in the Bible. The Bible states that shepherds were watching their sheep in the fields at night, which would not be done during the cold of winter, but rather in the spring. In fact, long after the birth and death of Jesus, his birthday was debated to be on several different dates. Here are some examples. Clement of Alexandria favored May 20th, but noted that others had argued for April 18, April 19, and May 28. Hippolytus preferred January the 2nd. November 17, November 20, and March 25 all had supporters as well. In fact, December 25 was not largely accepted by Western churches up until 336 AD, after Emperor Constantine had declared Christianity the empire's favored religion. Eastern churches, however, held on to January 6 and 7 as the dates for Christ's birth. So, why was the date December 25 so popularly labeled the day of Christ's birth? The reason was because December 25 was of pagan origin and was used to incorporate the concept of other pagan holidays, which were held on that day, into Catholic Christianity. Therefore, there is no biblical backup for this. Another false parallel was that there were three wise men that came to honor Christ at his birth. Just because there were three gifts does not indicate that there was a representative of each one. Besides, the Bible did not record there being actually three wise men. The gifts presented to Christ were the popular offerings used to honor royalty at the time. Now for a review of the first three lies. The words son and son are related. Christ was born the 25th of December, that there were three wise men. Despite these points having no biblical support, the movie continued to claim that these points are associated to mythological characters in an attempt at proving the so-called plagiarism of the Bible. These mythological characters were Horus, Attis, Krishna, Dionysus, and Mithra. Horus was stated to have the following characteristics. Born on December 25th of the Virgin Isis Mary, upon his birth there was a star in the east followed by three wise men. At the age of 30 he was baptized into the ministry. Had 12 disciples they traveled around with, performing miracles such as healing the sick and walking on water. Known by many names such as God's anointed son, Lamb of God, the Good Shepherd, the Light, and the Truth. Was betrayed and crucified. First, there is no recorded date of Horus's birth being on December 25. In fact, some records state that he was born in the Egyptian month of Koyak, which is actually our November. He was not born of a virgin, but rather he had a mother, Isis, who nowhere was recorded as Isis Mary. 
and who was also married to Osiris. In fact, Isis had to put together the dead body of Osiris in order to conceive Horus. In addition, there is no historical record of a star in the east at Horus' birth, neither any record of him being adorned by three wise men. There is no record of Horus being baptized at the age of 30 or ministering, nor any record of him having 12 disciples. However, there are some records that state that Horus had followers, as most leaders do, but these followers helped him in battle, not in healing the sick or walking on water. There is also no record of him having the names God's Anointed Son, Lamb of God, the Good Shepherd. Rather, he was given other names such as Avenger of God and Chief of Powers, of which Jesus was never called by. And finally, Horus was not crucified, as crucifixion was a Roman form of execution at the time of Christ, and neither was he resurrected on the third day. The second mythological parallel was to that of Attis, which the movie stated to have been, born on December 25th of a virgin, crucified, placed in a tomb, and on the third day resurrected. Actually, Atlas was born of a mother who put a ripe almond in her womb, and there is no record of his birth being on the 25th of December, as stated by the movie. There are two records of the death of Atis, neither of which stated he was crucified, but rather he was killed by a boar or bled himself to death, and some records state that he became a pine tree, but not after three days. The third mythological relation was to Krishna, who the movie stated to have the following characteristics. Born of a virgin, star in the east at his birth, performed miracles with his disciples, and resurrected upon death. He was not born of a virgin, but rather was the eighth son of a king. There is no record mention of a star in the east at his birth. There are some miracles, but this is not much of a relation on its own. He died of a curse, and was resurrected, but not on the third day. The fourth mythological character was Dionysian, and was also said to have been born of a virgin, born December 25th, a traveling teacher who performed miracles such as turning water into wine, referred to as the King of Kings, God's only begotten Son, the Alpha and Omega, resurrected after his death. The truth is that he was not born of a virgin, but rather of Simil, with whom Zeus had an affair. When Zeus exposed his identity, she died, and Zeus saw the fetal into his thigh and actually gave birth to Dionysian himself. However, this did not occur on December 25th. He was the god of wine, party, and fertility, so being the god of wine, he did create it. However, he did not go around teaching and performing miracles. He, as all mythical characters, was known by titles, but not king of kings or God's only begotten son, nor Alpha and Omega. He died of a cold and was not resurrected. The last character was Mithra, who was said to have been... Born of a virgin on December 25th, had twelve disciples, performed miracles upon death, was buried and resurrected on the third day, referred to as the truth and the light, and introduced Sunday worship. Actually, the truth about what is said of him is that he was born from stone, not of a mother. Iranian Mithra had one companion, and the Roman Mithra had two companions, but neither had twelve, and neither traveled around performing miracles as Christ did. Mithra did die, but any reference of his resurrection did not come up until the 2nd century AD. Mithra had other titles, as is a very common factor, such as Judge of Souls. Mithra was worshipped on Sunday, but there is no justification of Sunday worship in the Bible. Biblically, it is on the 7th day of the week, which is our Saturday. Now for a review of the Zygist movie Lies. There is no biblical support for Christ being born on the 25th of December. This idea came 300 years after Christ. Biblically, it was not mentioned that there were three kings, but rather three gifts. Finally, we saw the several lies used in relation to the mythical characters that the movie stated and how many of these parallels between Jesus and these characters were false.